the first step in developing a trading bot is determining what type of trading strategy you are going to implement. In this case, we are going to implement a, a simple crossover strategy. This is done by doing a crossover or um, this is done by calculating two different types of moving averages. Here we have our five day and our 20 day moving average of the Chevron stock from 2021, Jan January 1st to March uh, the 15th. Uh, and the whole point of this strategy is, is for looking for, for when these two averages cross over each other. Uh, for, for example, here we have our five day moving average crossing over our 20 day moving average. This is an example of a golden cross and it's a good indicator for when the price is going to go up. Over here we have the exact opposite. This is when our uh, 20 day moving average crosses over our five day moving average. This is also known as a death cross or when the price will go down. This would be a time when you would want to uh, exit your long buy position or enter a short sell uh, position. Likewise, with the golden cross, you would do the exact opposite, where you would enter a long buy position or exit a short sell position. So, looking at uh, looking at ways to backtest the strategy. Uh, I personally think that 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 trading view seems to be the best option. They have great graphs uh, and a good editor for uh, testing your your strategy. So here we have the strategy name, our fast moving average of ten days, and our slow moving average of fifty. They're both being plotted with the color blue and the color orange. We then have our timestamps, and we have our respective actions for a golden cross and a, a death cross. So in order to implement this with, with a chart, we just press add to chart. As you can see here, we have our strategy being shown. Uh, as you can see here, we have our death cross and we just entered a uh, short sell position and close out of our long buy. And here we have our uh, golden cross where we entered a long buy and exited a short sell. And as you can see, the price did, did go up. So this does look promising. But let's look at the actual profits. Here we have a net profit of $400 for our long buy and 500 for our uh, short sell. Of course, we did have uh, quite a few losses here. Um, I think we can probably mitigate this by implementing some stop losses with our <clears throat> with our trading algorithm. So, what, the way we can do that, um, we can go to our uh, code. What I'm using is the Alpaca Trading API. I'll show more of that later. Right now, I want to show you the beginning of the code which is starts right here where we are getting our paper data what this does is it calls this method right here get paper data it gets the uh, the first 200 ticker labels of the s p 500 index and it gets the past 100 days um, and stores it into a list we then return that list with the respective ticker label. And we start looping through that list. And we check for, for trades with, with every single one of those uh, tickers. So I'm going to run this right now. It takes a few minutes to get started. So here we're going to check for our trade right here. Uh, this is done. This is done right here. We should be checked for our trade. Here we calculate our close price and we have our fast moving average and our slow moving average. Uh, this is calculated by uh, pandas. 
and here we, we're taking our current price and uh, the, the current price of our fast and our slow moving average. And here we're looking one day behind. This is meant to, to check for a crossover. This is meant to check for what type of cross it is. And as you can see here, we are looking for that and we are returning true and false with the respective ticker value. We then go to our next method, which is executing our trades. Here we will do a long buy and short sell for the respective crossovers. And here we have our stop loss. This will, uh, what this is meant for is it is checking for uh, already holding uh, positions in our Alpaca trading account. Uh, here we are checking for our uh, short sell positions and to see if it if, if the price has risen above 10 percent uh we, we don't want the price to go up in a short sell we want the price to drop down so once it rises up too much we buy the stock to help mitigate that loss likewise we do the exact opposite for our long buy uh here, here we have a filter for our position and if it drops below 10 percent that is when we sell to help negate that loss. So as you can see from earlier, we ran the script and we have a bunch of long buys and short sells of our tickers. And you can see this being implemented in our account. Uh, the time right now is 5, 5 p.m. on uh, 516 so this is this, this seems to be working pretty well we got our buys and sells and uh, the reason why it hasn't been uh, the order hasn't been filled yet is because it is on a Sunday night uh, the market doesn't open until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning so that is when this this order will be filled um, so that also needs to be taken into consideration when running this bot uh, thank you for watching in the next video um, I'll be looking into ways to automate this whole process so the user won't have to be uh, at, the, at the computer running it in the uh, terminal.